Hare Krishna. Today we are reading from Sri Vraja Mandala Parikrama, Mahavana Gokula and Ravan. Mahavana Gokula. Mahavana is situated about six miles east of Mathura. It is also called Brihadvana because it is the largest Brihad of all the forest Vanas. In fact, this forest has three names Mahavana, Gokula, and Brihadvana. This Gokula is non different from Goloka. Parjanya Gopa, the father of Goparaja Nanda Baba, initially resided at Nandagao where he had five sons namely Upananda, Abhinanda, Nanda, Sunanda and Nandana and two daughters named Sananda and Nandini. Also while staying in Nandagao, he gave all his sons and daughters in marriage. His middle son Nanda had no offspring which caused Parjanya Gopa great concern. He worshipped Narayana in the hope that Nanda would father a child. By a voice in the sky, he came to know that a very brave son would soon be born to Sri Nanda. The son would possess all good qualities and annihilate every demon. Sometime after this aerial prophecy, Keshi and other demons began to cause a disturbance in Nandagao. Parjanya Gopa together with his family and all of his relatives moved here to Brihadvana. The Yamuna flows close by Brihadvana or Mahavana. This forest is beautifully decorated with different kinds of trees, creepers and flowers and there are lush green meadows for the cows to graze in. Beholding this beauty, the Vrajavasi Gopas became very pleased and happily began to reside here. Yashoda Maya gave birth to the twins Krishna Kanhaya and Yoga Maya at midnight in the delivery room at Nanda Bhavana in Mahavana. The umbilical cord was cut and other Vedic purificatory rituals were performed. Krishna killed the demon Sputana. Trinavarta and Shakata Surahya, thus liberating them. Krishna and Baladeva's name giving ceremony also took place at Mahavana in the nearby cowshed Goshala of Nanda Maharaja. It is here that Rama and Krishna start to crawl on their knees and that Mother Yashoda tied the naughty baby Krishna to a mortar and that Krishna delivered the Yamla Arjuna trees. The childhood pastimes of Krishna and Rama up to the age of two and a half to three years took place here in Mahavana. These pastimes are briefly described further on. The pastime places of Mahavana the pastime places of Brihadvana or Mahavana are mentioned in the Brahmanda Purana as follows. In Mahavana, there are 21 sacred places, Tirthas, which are saturated with good qualities. They include Yamala Arjuna Uddharasthala, Nanda Kupa, Chinta Harana Ghata, Brahmanda Ghata, Saraswata Kunda, Saraswati Shila, Vishnu Kunda, Karna Kupa, Krishna Kunda, Gopa Kupa, Ramana Reti, Trinavarta Bhadasthala, Putana Bhadasthala, Nanda's Palace, Nanda Bhavana, Ramana Ghata and Mathura Kshetra, the birthplace of Mathura Nata, Shesha Balarama and Yoga Maya. Visiting Mathura Kshetra dispels all one's sins and brings about all auspiciousness. Both Vraja Bhakti Vilasa and the Bhakti Ratnakara mention the following pastime places. The place where the Yamala Arjuna trees were delivered, Yamala Arjuna Uddharasthala, the place where Putana was killed, Putana Bhadasthala, the place where the cart was broken, Shakata Bhanjana Sthana, Sapta Samudrika Kupa and Gopishwara Mahadeva. Additionally, Vraja Bhakti Vilasa mentioned Sri Nanda Temple, 
Yashoda's resting place, Yashoda Sayanasthala, the place of the grinding mortar, Okalasthala, the birthplace of Yogamaya, Yogamaya Janmasthala, Balagokuleshwara, and Rohini Temple. Bhakti Ratnakara further mentions Krishna's birthplace, Janmasthana, the place where the sanctifying ceremonies took place at the time of Krishna's birth, Janma Samskarasthana, the cowshed Goshala, the place of the name giving ceremony, Nama Karanasthana, Agni Samskarasthala, Stanya Panasthala, the place where Trinavarta was killed. Trinavartha Bhadasthala, the place where Krishna and Balarama crawled on their knees, Brahmanda Ghata, Yashodaji's courtyard, the place where Na Navanita or the fresh butter was stolen, Navanita Chori Sthala, the place where the Dhamodra Leela took place, Dhamodra Leela Sthala, Sri Sanatana Goswami's place of bhajan, the place of Madana Mohanaji, Ramana Reti, Gopakupa, the residences of Upananda and the other Gopas, the place of Sri Krishna's birth ceremony and other ceremonies, Gopa Bhaitaka, the path to go to Vrindavana, Vrindavana Gamana Pata, Sakrauli, and so forth. Danta Davana Tila Nanda Maharaja would sit on this small hill, Tila, and clean his teeth, Danta Davana, with a twig. Nanda Baba's residence. Around the base of Danta Davana Tila stood the residences of Nanda as well as those of his brothers and relatives. The ruins of these houses can still be seen today even from a distance. Nanda Bhavana, Krishna's birthplace. The Supreme Lord Sri Krishna and Yogamaya took birth as twins from the womb of Mother Yashoda in her room in Nanda's palace. They were born at midnight on Ashtami, the eighth day after the full moon in the month of Bhadra when the star Nakshatra known as Rohini was visible in the sky. One can take darshan of yoga maya here. Srimad Bhagudam vividly describes how the most fortunate Nanda Baba became very joyful upon receiving a son. After the ceremony known as Nadi Cheda Sanskara had been performed in which the umbilical cord is cut, baby Krishna was bathed and so on. Nanda Baba then called the Brahmanas to perform the various purificatory rituals and other rites of childbirth. Sri Raghupati Upadhyaya says, In a world frightened by birth and death, some people take shelter of the Shrutis, some of the Smritis and some of the Mahabharata. But I pay my homage to Sri Nandaraya in whose courtyard Parabrahma is playing as a child. Thank you. Hare Krishna.